Freelancers will operate anywhere. It's all right, so I do. They will push the envelope. I would say they are an essential part of any news gathering organization. If you didn't have freelancers sometimes, we just wouldn't have the access to the local knowledge. And we rely on those people to get those pictures and those stories out. If it wasn't for freelancers, then we would really not be able to witness a lot of the things that we have been able to witness. They're the lifeblood of this industry. These are the places most journalists can't go. But even when others are moving out, the freelancer often moves in to show the world what's happening. They capture many cruelties and risk many themselves. Working independently, they often enter these situations alone. Unlike staff journalists, they don't have the backing or protection of a large organization. The bird's getting shot at right now. For many freelancers in news and current affairs, the Rory Peck Trust is their only support, whether they face trouble abroad or at home, like Asan Maleki. Asan took these photos after the Iranian elections in 2009. They show the opposition's response but he knows firsthand how the government reacted too. They threatened him and tortured his colleagues for taking pictures of the protests. Eventually, he had to flee to France. I've not still realized that what's happened to me. I've cut off from everything. I've been put in the middle of somewhere else. I'm trying to find a way to keep on living. The Rory Pack Trust are helping with that. They support freelancers under threat in their home country, whether they stay or flee. At first, Asan struggled to pay his rent. Grants from the trust help cover his costs while he looks for work. I could do nothing. And that was really big, big help. No word can sum up how it changed my, the, 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 the situation that I was living. Like Asan, many freelancers live in the story they're covering. The fate of those they film can so easily become their own. Every year, freelancers die getting these pictures, and the families they leave behind often find little support, as Katerina Adler knows. Hey, lay the f down. This is lay some of Martin down. Adler's work. Lay the f down. He reported on many wars until he got caught in the story. In 2006, Martin was shot and killed while filming in Somalia. I never wanted him to go, but when you love someone, you want that person to be happy. It made him happy to go away and work. But I never thought it was going to happen to me. Even if you think you are prepared, you can never, you can never be prepared. After Martin died, the Rory Peck Trust got in touch with Katerina to offer their support. They've stayed in close contact, giving her advice and practical help. The feeling of support that the Trust gives me is, is priceless. To have someone who knows what this is all about, it feels, it feels so good. Martin tried to avoid risks, but on the front line, it's hard to. Staff journalists are taught how to stay safe. Freelancers often aren't. The Rory Peck Trust helps get them that training, saving lives and preventing injuries like Chandler Vandegrift's. Chandler was covering riots in Bangkok when a grenade exploded nearby. 26 pieces of shrapnel pierced his skull and body. I just remember falling down. Obviously, I was numb from the explosion and I couldn't see anything but at that time. And, you know, I just fell down. And, and at that point, I re remember thinking, I'm, I'm going to die, this is it. Obviously, it all happened down here. Chandler made a full recovery, uh, even revisiting the spot where he was injured. Took off most of his arm. The Rory Peck Trust helped with his physiotherapy. I think things like this. They replaced oh, this the kit he lost too, so he could work again. 
The work of the Rory Peck Trust is, is essential for freelance journalists. We don't have organizations that are going to be able to help us if there, if there is injuries. Um, to me, it's, it's the need for this. I mean, it's, pretty, it's a pretty serious need, I think. A need that's growing all the time. More and more of the world's stories are told by freelancers. Their work is astonishing. But the Rory Peck Trust want it to be safe and fair too. It's got to be a two-way street. When they deliver these pictures and images of you know, real importance to us as an industry and to the world, we've got to make sure when things go wrong for them, they're just not left high and dry. In an ideal world, we wouldn't need a Rory Peck Trust. But unfortunately, the environment that we live in means we very much do. And it's the only one. It's the only organisation that helps freelancers in this way. And it's vital. <laughs>